What's going on guys, Alton Astacio here with FlightPath.com. Now in this video, I'm gonna be testing out the new motion controller, which is a one-handed joystick used to control your DJI FPV drone. Now this will actually be the very first time I'm gonna be testing it out. I've only looked through the tutorial through the goggles, but actually haven't flown it yet. So we'll kind of be doing this thing all together. But before we get into it, a quick message from our sponsor, Storyblocks. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Storyblocks, Storyblocks is an online subscription membership plan that allows you to download over a million royalty-free digital assets. Storybox offers high resolution as well as HD and 4K video downloads. And the biggest benefit with Storybox is that you get unlimited download with your subscription plan. And that's where Storybox really comes into play because if you want to add a little bit more clarity to your story, all you have to do is type in what you're looking for in their search box. And of course they have, like I said, over a million digital assets to browse through. So if you want to bring your stories a little bit more to life and you don't want to sacrifice that time, resources, and especially the budget, make sure you guys use the link down below to start a membership plan and get unlimited downloads with your subscription. And now, back to the video. So before you get onto the field like I am today, you're going to want to make sure you have everything linked and synced up with the new motion controller. And I actually did that right before I got here, so let me give you guys a quick rundown of how to link these all up. Now linking the motion controller to the drone is actually going to be very simple. It's pretty much the same way that you would have done it by linking up the remote control to there or even the goggles to the aircraft. And if you guys haven't seen my full setup video, make sure you guys check the link above as well as down below in the video description. I'll show you exactly from unboxing to full setup. There's a full video on that. But just to go over real quick on what to do. First of all, download the most recent DJI Fly app and then power everything on. You don't need to power on the remote control because we're not gonna be using that remote. We're gonna be using this one, but you're gonna wanna power on your goggles. So power this on here. Of course, make sure you have full battery and everything. Now with everything powered on, the first thing you wanna do is sync up your goggles to the aircraft. So all you have to do is get a little pen, the tip of the pen. You're gonna press this little button here right below the power. You're gonna to wanna to press that in and then hold it for a couple seconds, let go. Starts beeping, as you can hear it. Press and hold that power button. There you go. And now it stopped beeping, which means now the goggles and the aircraft are now linked together. And next you're gonna wanna do the same thing with the motion controller. Press and hold that power button right here. Press and hold it. There you go. You can hear that beeping. Press and hold the power button here until it beeps. Okay, and there you go. Stopped beeping, which means now the Motion controller is now linked up to the drone as well as the goggles. Now let's get back in the field for our very first flight. All right, so even though we are all linked up, I do want to go through the tutorial one more time now that I'm here in the field. So let me get this all powered up. Make sure everything is hooked up properly with the remote control. Go through the tutorial one more time in the goggles and then hopefully be able to fly this thing up in the air with a handheld remote. The beast is alive. Let's go through that tutorial. I'm gonna hit the menu system, go down to settings, go to control, motion controller. First flight tutorial, hit okay. All right, now hit start. It says after, after tapping start, the aircraft will not respond to the movement of the motion controller. Detailed instructions on pre-flight preparations, button functionality, and advanced features. So let's hit start, check, and make sure that the aircraft is placed at least five meters away from your location. It's about five meters, 15 feet or so. All right, so the first one, number one is a lock button, which is the top left. That's a lock button. That will double press it. It'll start the aircraft motor. Press and hold it. It'll automatically take off and hover 1.2 meters above the ground. Press and hold while hovering. It'll automatically land. Next one, we have the brake button, which is a big circle right here on the right. Press once, the aircraft stops and hovers. Press again to continue flight. Press and hold, initiate auto return to home. Press again to cancel. So it does have return to home function with that if you press and hold it. And then we have mode button, press once. It'll switch the flight modes. Right now I think we only have normal and sport, no acro of course. So let's go to the next. All right, next we have gimbal tilt slider. So in order for it to move the gimbal, that little slider here on the left-hand side, to record, hit the record button right there right below the slider. To accelerate, squeeze the trigger right here to accelerate the aircraft, and then release it to, for it to stop and hover. And then if I want to ascend and descend, I press go like this, 
press down, and then to send, I'm gonna go like this and point it upward. There's a little circle there that uh, lets me know that if I want to uh, go straight up in the air, if you wanna go straight up and down, you go point it to that circle. Then to make a circle with the aircraft, you just go left and right like this, and if you want to rotate it, you turn it like that. And then skills training, it has a little uh, training, it talks about the DJI Fly app, as well as a virtual flight. And what I'm gonna do, actually I'll probably do this without the goggles, because I want to see what's happening. So I press and hold it to, I'm gonna double tap it to start the motors. Okay, motors are started. And let's go press and hold it to get it up in the air. There you go. We are up. Oh my God, how cool is that? Look, okay. So I'm gonna do this without the goggles first. And that turns that. So same thing, it's doing the same movements there. So let's turn it, let's go this way. Forward, turn it this way. Wow, this is a trip, look at that. So if you want to yaw it, you actually just either turn your hand this left or right, or you tilt it and it goes faster left or right. So if I tilt, you can see it moving and tilt back right. Now, if I want to move forward, I just have to press the acceleration trigger and there you go, it's moving forward. If I point it up, it should go up. There you go, it's going up by pointing up and then hitting acceleration. And there you go. So I am gonna try flying this thing. Kind of a trip to fly with a remote control. So here we go. Let's try it. All right. So I'm gonna give it some gas. Give it, give it some gas. I'm gonna accelerate. I'm gonna go up a little bit. And give it more. And then if I want to turn, I just tilt my hand left. There you go. And tilt right. Wow, this is crazy. Up and tilt. If I, by tilting my hand left to right, it turns it a lot faster. If I want to go slower, I just tilt, twist it this way, left and right. But if I want to turn faster, you actually just twist your wrist. And there you go. So let me give it some acceleration. And because it's in normal mode, it's just going to have a nice slow pace. I'm at 16 miles an hour right now. And look at that, dude. Oh my God, what a trip. You can see my home point in the screen, which is really cool. Now I'm pointing down and it's coming down a little bit. So it is descending when I point down and accelerate. Let me twist this around. Whoa, this is, whoa, this is so cool. Okay, this is honestly really, really cool. Let me go up a little higher. I'm giving it full throttle right now because I'm higher about you know 18 miles an hour. T turning around. This is pretty awesome. Coming back down. Coming back up. Twisting it. This is cool. This is flying off of a remote control, joystick style type of flight. If I can go down, let me see. Oh, there you go, yeah, I can. And also, let me test out the tilt function. So let me turn the camera around towards these homes right here. And now I'm gonna turn and the tilt function. So the tilt function as of right now is not working, does not seem to be working. And I think that was also in the firmware update that's gonna be happening, but so tilt does not work right now. Nope, not going up or down. But let me go forward. Turn. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is a trip. Here we go, coming around. Go back up. Up, up, up. So if I want to ascend, just point it up and give it some throttle. Coming back down now. Twist my hand, now it's kind of coming down at this angle right there. Really cool. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I got my flight in. 
And what I want to do is bring it out here a little bit and I'll test out that return to home function. Now hitting the brake button, hit brake, aircraft brake, press brake. Now it's in return to home, press brake button to cancel. So it's going to climb up to 98 feet. So while it's coming back, I wonder if I could turn it. Nope, won't let me turn anything. Okay, so it is coming back home and I can hear it right above me. And I'm going to hit brake because I'm going to fly it back in myself. So what I want to do is point it, let's see, point it down and fly down a little bit. So here it is again, just so you can see how responsive it is. If I turn left, turn right, point it up, point it down, but I'm going to bring it back down now. I'm actually going to go onto the rocks because there's a lot of dirt right here. So let me go over there where there's rocks, uh, less dirt. <laughs> so let's bring this up a little bit. Let's land it over there, right over here. Right here is a little bit better. Press and hold that lock. Let's turn it and press and hold. And there you go. It's coming down right now. And motors automatically shut off. I don't even, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what to say. There's so many things going on at once. There's the FPV side of things, which is completely new. You have a new motion controller and you can control it. Of course, they're gonna be coming out with more stuff feature-wise and updating it, you know, as it, uh, as it goes. But <laughs> controlling the drone with a joystick called the motion controller, this is pretty, pretty cool. And there it is guys, just a little walkthrough of my first flight experience with the new motion controller. Like I mentioned to you guys earlier, all of this is completely new. Everything from flying with that new immersive experience with goggles, HD goggles, and even this, flying with a handheld remote control. I really like what DJI has been doing, just taking all of their reliable tech into something like this, which I always call like a really good transitional type of drone and bringing to everybody just new experiences. As always guys, if you guys got some value from this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. If you guys want more content on this right here, the DJI FPV drone, make sure to check my full playlist down below in the video description. Once again, thanks for our sponsor of this video, Storybox. If you guys wanna take advantage of unlimited royalty-free downloads of HD photos and videos, make sure to use my link down below in the video description. This is Aldrin Sasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys outside with a motion controller. Take care.